How does Monday get here so fast? It's vlog 238 and it's me, Jaime, your pal, the shut-in cartoonist musician, vlog casting, of course, from the Corn Tortilla Press World Headquarters, located in Alameda, California, which is that island that's just off the sunny shores of Oakland, California. Yes, we're out in the frosty waters of the San Francisco Bay. Uh, nursing my second cup of Major Dickinson's uh, Pete's Coffee here in my Mickey Mouse cup. Um, getting ready to start the day. Hope you had a wonderful weekend. We had a really good one. Since we've had our shot, our first shot, we've uh, been venturing out just a little bit. And uh, Saturday, we drove down to Fremont, uh, just down the freeway from us, about 20 minutes or so. And went out to the, it's a neighborhood, but it's really set up like its own town. Uh, the town of Niles. Always wanted to go there. I understand in the 20s, it was uh, Charlie Chaplin shot some films. I heard it was like Hollywood North there for a minute. And it's a railroad town, lots of old trains, but it's set up uh, like my former town of Fairfax, California, in the sense of old buildings, a main strip. Um, oh, it's just, it's, it's gorgeous. I really liked it. It's quiet. You almost feel like you're not in the Bay Area anymore. And, uh, yeah, Niles. So just, you know, N-I-L-E-S. And uh, you, you can't miss it when you go out there and they got the cool signs. They got another sign over that drops down under the railroad tracks. And we even went out down into the canyon, the Niles Canyon Road and and all the the foliage. That was like being kind of in West Marin and uh, but with all sorts of um, trestles and things. Really, really a cool place. So I had, I had a good time. Um Let's see, finished inking uh, another chapter the other day of uh, the graphic novel. And I was going to bring up, I get into jags. I get into these things where I'm um, musically or whatever, like I'll listen to, oh, I don't know, uh, pre-World War II blues or something. Or I'll listen to just artists like, oh, I'm just listening to Weather Report. Or I'm just listening to Earth, Wind & Fire, or The Rolling Stones or something. Or um, I don't know, whatever. But I've been into the band uh, lately. And that's a group that I got into thanks to my childhood pal, who I still hang out with, Avery E.D. Burns, the poet himself. Um, Avery and I met in fifth grade. We were 10 years old. Hmm. And his father, who's no longer with us, Doyle, was quite, both his parents were quite bohemian and intellectual. And you'd come home and, you know, Doyle would be, he was the only dad I knew that had long hair and a headband. And, you know, he'd be listening to Bob Dylan or the Beatles, or in this case, the band. Ironically, all three groups are quite associated with one another, especially Dylan and the band. But anyway, uh, I've been listening to Robbie Robertson's book on Audible. So when I ink, I can listen to things with words, like books and podcasts and all that stuff, because I'm just, you know, throwing down all the ink on what I already have pencil. But when I'm writing and penciling, I have to just hear music and mostly instrumental. It's just how I am. It's my my little brain works. Um, but yeah, so I've been listening to the music of the band and I've been listening to Testimony by Robbie Robertson. Robertson, And I have an affinity for them. I, I, I don't know what got me into that group. I just think they're the bee's knees. And I always have. And sadly, three of the five members are gone. And that's, of course, Levon Helm, uh, the drummer, the only American in the group. It's a Canadian band. And he's from, I believe, uh, Arkansas. Um, <clears throat> what a drummer. What a, what a singer, too. And uh, two other members, uh, Richard Manuel, um, uh, who committed suicide, and then Rick Danko, who also passed away the bass player. The only two surviving members are Garth Hudson, the phenomenal musician who plays pretty much anything under the sun. He's like their David Hidalgo <laughs> of the band. And then, of course, Robbie Robertson. And I have quite the affinity for Robbie because we're both half Native and both from our mom's sides. And, um, and we're both guitar players. And we're both Fender men. We like our, our Stratocasters and Telecasters and stuff. So I'm um, listening to his book, really enjoying it. And uh, But now I'm going to be penciling. I'm going to have to listen to the book, I guess, later, some other time. So anyway, um, oh, and it brings me up to uh, The Last Waltz, to the movie about their last gig as a band. Though they had a few reunion tours, but I believe this was the last time the whole band played. I'm not 100% on this. Uh, the Martin Scorsese film. I bought this 10 plus years ago. Um, it, it's on. It's streaming on platforms for free right now. On So if you have smart TV or whatever, even your, just your computer, I highly recommend it. I mean, it's got Muddy Waters on there with him, does a song. Joni Mitchell, Neil Young, um, <clears throat> Ronnie Woods in the background, 
playing some rhythm guitar. Ringo Starr's there on drums. Uh, uh, for those of you like Eric Clapton, I'm not a huge fan, but I know I'm one of the f f rare people on the planet that, that's not thrilled by Eric Clapton, but that's just me. Um, I don't hate him. I'm just, you know, I don't know. Maybe, maybe you think, see, I don't know, like the guy right there, I have these candid photos of uh, Jimi Hendrix. And um, during that time, like Cream and, and, and the Jimi Hendrix experience, there was Cream, but they were so inside the box. And then there was the Hendrix experience, which was just whew, out of this world, another planet. <clears throat> anyway, I'll leave you with that. But anyway, so yeah, the band. Go listen to the band. Man, it, that's, it's great music. And I'm going to go back, sip my coffee. I've already eaten my breakfast this morning, done everything else. So I'm going to start penciling away and maybe listen to the band. All right, everybody. Thank you for joining me. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. Don't forget to look at my website. I can't remember where it is on here, but I always put it on there. And jump on there, buy some. I sell stuff on there and it, it helps me out and you'll enjoy it too. And I hope you guys have a great week and I will see you guys next Monday. Thanks for joining me. And remember, stay out of trouble, and if you can't do that, don't get caught. Bye, <laughs> everyone. See ya.